Okay, so we had a doctor appointment today, so we have an update. I had my scans yesterday. Um, I was really feeling fearful and really just discouraged um, going in for the scans. And um, I've still been sleeping a lot having a lot of nausea, not able to eat real well, able to eat better, um, and my weight is still, like, dropping, and those things, so I'm, and I, I feel the growth in my side, it has visibly changed externally, so I just have all these things going on, right? And um, get the scans yesterday, go into the doctor today. I was telling Kelly, I'm gonna change, you know, I've, I've always just prayed that there would be no growth and that um, the cancer would be stopped or be dead as we've gone for scans and I was like, I'm going to try to readjust to something more realistic and just pray now that we're not out of options. Callie and I, um, among others close to me, I think are really feeling the, uh, pressure that we're close to the point of them telling me that there aren't any options left. And so I have all these things like going around in my mind. Kelly and I are both worried and, you know, all of this going on. And then I, I was crying before we went to the doctor. I said the scans are always, like they've always consistently been worse news than I expected. They like consistently been been negative even if it's only a little bit negative it's always like a growth a change a this or that um so you know I was just like I'm gonna try to um just change what I'm what I'm hoping for so that I'm not so disappointed and shaken when I get the scan results so we go into the doctor, and for the first time ever, the doctor says, there's no change. There's no change. There's no growth. Our last scan was the day before I started the immunotherapy treatment, so we know it was in a pattern of growing, and it was increasing and spreading pretty rapidly. It had spread to my kidneys. Um, spread more in my abdomen, um, spread to something else. I don't remember what else, my adrenal yeah, glands, you, yeah, like some uh, other stuff. Yeah. You got something in your neck, limb, oh, thyroid. So all of these things and now I have no change, no change for the first time the cancer stopped and they are really didn't excited grow. about the trajectory change. Where yeah. It was growing and spreading really fast, and then it just, it's stable. Yeah. So to be stabilized is like a wonderful thing. And um, they're still looking at adding the second um, medication to me that can further. Uh, halt the cancer and and has also it's another medicine like the one that I am on that they're wanting to add that has shown to reduce tumor growth to not just stop it but to shrink it so they're still wanting to add that to me <clears throat> and they're trying to figure out how how that's going to happen it just has to go through insurance and all of that so they have some work to do on that end for getting me that medication. But right now, um, 
today was just a most incredible day. It was not the news we were expecting at all. God did a completely different thing, and I automatically just feel like, why, why was I so discouraged? Like, I've had a lot of negative scans, and so, but every time I'm so hopeful, so why did this time I lost hope? He did it, and he's just in all of these things, always showing that he's that he's with me. He's gone before me. He was he was already here with this before I got here. So um, it just strengthens my faith and gives me helps my trust in him and my love for him. So I think that's it. Yeah, and there's stuff dealing with iron and stuff dealing with iron. Yeah, I do still have the iron issue uh, where my iron is low. Um, they're thinking that um, they would like to give me the shots to stimulate my bone marrow to produce some iron. But my iron has to get in a certain range before the shots can get approved. And it's not getting in that range yet. So, um, that still dealing with the low iron side effect um I have the very painful it's not neuropathy but neuropathy issue in my feet and um and still sleeping a lot and that's probably because of the low iron so a lot a host of other issues have come under control my digestive issues for one have just dramatically and greatly improved um wonderfully absolutely incredible so a lot of answered prayer over me yeah so the thing about the second medication both of them have been approved for this particular mutation it's a, one of the drivers that causes cancer to go faster but most of the research and stuff that they've done and got approval for these drugs have been with melanoma. So there's not a lot of information of this particular genetic mutation with pancreatic cancer. So the issue comes with this immunotherapy and getting the approval has to deal with insurance and the insurance saying they're not going to pay for it because the approval for this drug is for melanoma and her diagnosis is not melanoma even though it's the same mutation um, so they're trying to work with the uh, trial drug sponsor who recommended to use it to see if they'll fund it as part of the trial. And so that's where we are on that. Yeah. So we could um, definitely use prayer for that, that I could get started on that drug and for my iron and some of the side effects. But we're things are going well. Things are going well. We're really, really happy today. Completely just in shock at what God has done. And just full of joy. So, hope y'all have a wonderful